Hello. So, how do you do? Did you get a new haircut? I like it. So, after the video where I talked about chapter 41 of Rebuild World, some of you wanted more of the same kind of video. So today, I'm gonna talk about chapter 61 of Ragnar Crimson, also known as the speedrun chapter. So in the previous chapter, Ragnar instead of attending the meeting with the Sun Cultists, it was like, you know the bloodline of Roars, the one you've been struggling to fight for years? I'ma take care of it for you, real quick, no sweat. I got you, homie! So he goes to the giant chasm where they live at. Yeah, these guys literally live in a hole. By the way, I really like the design of this chasm. It looks like a giant maw. One thing you need to know about this chasm is that it's split into different layers, called the strata. Each layer has its own like rules and structures and is ruled by a powerful dragon. So Ragnar prepares for his annihilation speedrun. And start the time, Ragnar jumps straight in. What's that? Parachute? Landing? Honey, you're talking about the guy who literally fought in space. Gravity is a suggestion to him. So he reaches the first layer. This layer has a hallucinogenic fog that makes people see dreams, leaving them easy prey for the dragons. But joke's on you, it doesn't matter if it's good or bad, Ragnar only dreams about killing dragons. And you even had the audacity to throw lower dragons on him? Shame on you, Mr. High Dragon. Look at you chilling with your book and your snack. Is that a pancreas? Fancy. Now back to Ragnar. Oh shoot, he already broke through to the next layer. Wait, he didn't come to kill you? Oh wow. He really said you're not worth his time. He didn't even give you the courtesy of saying it to you. Damn, that's cold. Anyway, sucks to be you. Now Ragnar is in the second layer, the Limitless Labyrinth, a gigantic and convoluted maze. Surely it would take him multiple chapters to get through. Dragon hunting flash! Wait, stop! You're hurting his feelings! Bam! Layer 3, the Frozen Sea, ruled by this shivering mess who has ice magic. The moment Ragnar enters this layer, she freezes him. And... Pfft, as if that would do anything. So Ragnar freezes the ice. He froze... Ice. I don't think you heard me, so I'll repeat. He froze... Ice! How the hell can you freeze ice while looking so hot? Now this is interesting, because instead of heading to the next layer, he chose to kill her. Which means either she could be a threat, or he has a grudge on her. Or maybe because she was just there in front of him. So why wouldn't he fold her? Now listen. Do you hear that? Those are the bells of your funeral. Get her, Ragna! You lucky lizard. So someone decided to be a third wheel and intervene, pulling Ragnar all the way to the fourth layer, the Uniform Realm. A realm in which perfectly flat earth stretches into eternity. Insert flat VTuber joke here. This layer is ruled by this dragon. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucker looks like one of these guys, but in armor. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, they have the power to control gravity. Which makes sense, since they look like they have their own orbit. Ha! At first Ragnar was hit by a 300 times gravity, but he could still move. So they increased it to a thousand. And what did I say? For Ragnar, gravity is a suggestion. You've heard of the man who's too angry to die. Well Ragnar is too angry to care about the laws of physics. Here comes Excalibur, so buckle up sugar. <laughs> But someone intervenes. Again. This time, it's Big Daddy himself, the King of Roars. He doesn't waste any time and goes straight for the kill. Hitting Ragnar with this. And he still couldn't kill Ragnar. Mind you, this is the same guy who just shifted space. And all his attack did was teleport Ragnar back to the cliff. Sorry, Ragnar. This run is a bust. Now the bloodline of Roars did a lot of stupid mistakes. I mean, they already know that the bloodline of Wings has been annihilated. And instead of bolstering their defenses, they were just chilling. That's why when a guy appeared that can break through walls like butter and literally freeze ice, they couldn't do shit. 1. 
they threw regular ass dragons at him. Two, they tried to trap him within walls. And finally, the biggest mistake they did was having only one high class dragon in each floor. Going for a 1v1 against Ragnar is probably the dumbest decision you could ever make. That's why you had to be saved by them and you had to be saved by him. And you still couldn't kill him. Honestly, this chapter was awesome. It encapsulated one of the biggest reasons why I hold this manga in such a high regard. And that is, brute force is a viable option. If a character has the necessary power to break through everything, why should they waste their time weaving and turning? And that's why Crimson never makes plans for Ragnar. He makes plans around Ragnar, because he's an unstoppable force. Okay, that's all. Until next time, take care of yourself. Bye-bye.